Hi Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. What are signs? Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we are going to find out what's coming up for you within 24 hours. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 27th of March, 2023. Time here in Genoa, Italy is 1.55 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And if you were to finally get it to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same signs. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me what's coming up for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio within 24 hours. Please bear in mind that there will be a lot of details in this reading, so you may or may not resonate with it from the beginning till the end. And also, oof. these cards are very slippery. <laughs> They're still kind of new. And I'm staying in another hotel for a couple of days because the boat I was living in, um, it sailed to Sardinia for a couple of days. So I had to evacuate and evacuate <laughs> and then, you know, for a couple of days and then I'll return to the boat. Anyway, we've got the Five Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Speaking of boat, Six of Swords and Lovers, some of you, you could be going on a boat because if you look at it, there's a boat, right? A bit of a delay as well that you may have to wait, like, I don't know, some like long lines or checking in. Or a little bit of that, okay? If, you, if you're planning to travel on a cruise on a boat, something about the water as well, any sorts of activities, water activities, some of you are doing that, okay? And uh, be careful as well. Mm. Some of you, if you're going to be doing water activities, be careful, okay? Mm. Because five of wands here is in one first. We got a death card here. So be careful when you're around the water. I would say... Don't go in the water on your own. Always have some people around you, okay? Because if something was to happen to you in the water, nobody's gonna see you. It's five ones here is in one first, okay? Um, nobody's gonna be there to help you. So if you're diving, you, uh, yeah, if you're diving, snorkeling, swimming, anything to do with water, make sure you always have somebody next to you, okay? Don't do it alone don't wander off alone if you're going to the beach wherever you're at anything to do with water don't wander off alone okay or it could be people you take care of it could be children anybody don't let them wander off alone it may not be you it could be somebody else close to you that you should be watching okay that's what i'm seeing here that's for the that, that's the first message we got the knight of cups page of swords in my verse two of swords in my first three of swords in my first Huh. The death indicates an ending, an ending of um, for some of you, if you have heart issues, I think you're going to recover because three sorts of reference indicates healing and recovery. An ending of heart aches, heart pain, or like it could be literally like heart issues or sadness. So this could indicate, you know, again, the death here, some sort of transformation in regards to how you feel. I feel like you're going to feel much better because of the Knight of Cups right here. So this is you. And then in the upright position, feels like you're going to feel good within 24 hours or longer because that one similar verse can indicate an ending of, right next to death, ending of some sort of drama, arguments, uh, some of you, six of wands indicates you're going to win something that you've been fighting for. It indicates success. Overcoming any sorts of um, challenges. Drama. Competition. Even fear. Okay. Being recognized. And I'm also sensing... Um, you will be around people, but people will support you. 
people who support you, people who look out for you, the page of swords here in the first. I see you, yeah, being surrounded by people who support you, people who, you know, encourage you, people who look out for you, with the high priestess here, people that are close to you as well, like, for me, maybe both of you, or this group of people belong to the same community, it could be family, friends, going to the same church, or going to the same yoga classes, um, I see you being like encouraged, okay, you're going to be encouraged by these people, like you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you know, and you may be suspicious with the page of swords in love verse, like as in, you're not sure if you can do it, but this person, these people are going to be encouraging you to do it, unless it's you, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, needing to encourage somebody or certain people to do something that you actually do believe deep down that they can do it, right? The high priest is here. Okay, this is interesting. Let's see a little bit more. Ace of Pentacles and one first. See, I see people believing in you within 24 hours or longer, believing in you, believing that you can do something, constantly supporting you, cheering you on, six of wands, fighting for you, right? Five Pentacles and one first can indicate to some of you, maybe when it comes to your finances, Eight of Pentacles, for those of you very hardworking water signs, okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, if you're very, if you've been really hardworking, I see an improvement in your finances, or you may receive certain help financially within um, 24 hours or longer. Ace of Pentacles here is in one first though. Hmm. Feel like there's this stubborn energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, very stubborn energy of whether it's you or this person, okay? This energy where it's like, I want to help you. No, I don't need your help. That kind of an energy. Either you're going to be asking help from, so you're going to be trying to help someone, someone tells you, no, I don't need your help, or that, you know, vice versa. But I feel like Spirit says to accept that help. Because, you know, Ace of Pentacles and Mothers, I see you rejecting some sort of help or offer here. Because there's an energy of, I don't really want to owe this person something, right? I don't want to owe them something. But again, I feel like, yeah. Don't leave somebody alone to wander off, especially when it's near the water, something to do with water, okay? Liquid water. Um, unless this is you, if you are surrounded by water, doing some water activities, I don't know why I need to stress this to you. Do not wander off alone. Always have somebody next to you. If you're diving, don't dive alone. Always have your, what do you call it, your buddy? next to you they call it some like a buddy system yeah i feel i feel very overwhelmed by water and you are a water sign so so some of you may think ah i can do it on my own because i'm used to it because i know how to do this i've done this a million times but it has something to do with water and don't um <laughs> Don't get too arrogant with the six of wands, thinking that you, you're, you've you done it many times and you know better because, you know, I would say the death here, be careful, okay? And the page of swords here, well, first, something you need to check first thoroughly before you embark on it. Seven of wands here in an upright position because there's something hidden with the high persist that you may not see that could cause you to be the empress in world first. Either you're going to lose something or you're going to get hurt, okay? Sorry, I'm not trying to scare you, but 
So I'm going to be Eight of Pentacles. You could just be focusing on your work. Oops, all this coming out. Six of Cups. Could be you spending time with people you care about. Going home or an, an apology. Could be you apologizing to someone. Someone apologizing to you. Four of Wands. I don't know. I'm getting... Some of you, you are working on your home, staying home, focusing on your career, focusing on your job. Four of Wands can also indicate marriage. Some of you, there could be a proposal of marriage or that you're attending a wedding. Or help preparing for a wedding. Help preparing for some sort of celebration, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to both of my channels, Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Tarot 2.0. Don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos. Alright, take care, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Hope to see you back here again later tomorrow. Bye.